Well, it feels stronger in the glass. When I put it in there, it feels a little bit stronger. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit stronger in the glass. At least it feels that way. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It just feels that way. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I gave it a real kick. Oh boy. Woo, doggy. Oh, there you go. Do a little more close up on the video. There you go. Hey, stop. Oh. Damn, right, <laughs> right when I zoomed in. Give me one second. So, there we yeah, go. it's probably just got not enough power, but yeah, it's spinning. Your balls are just too big for the coil there, Ben. Yeah, I got my balls are too big. (laughs) 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 The big man balls club. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Uh, Let's see if this works. Uh, Is it going to shift on me? (laughs) Keeps on shifting. Well, at least we got it spinning with this coil. That's cool. Yeah. It seems like, I mean, it, in theory, the, the geometry is more uh, symmetrical, right? So in theory, it should. Let's see. It's still... We have to get you some smaller balls, Ben. <laughs> we'll get you a better stereo amp. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. It's going. Oh, I like that. That's oh, awesome. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, move oh the what did I start then. here? What did I start here? Oh, move the camera. There you go. Nice. There we go. I'm going to adjust the uh, the treble because it's all the way up. I'm going to see if that maybe enhances it any. Well, actually, no, the treble's not up. It's just the bass. Okay. I don't know, Ben. When they're in a good rhythm, you kind of just let them do their work. Yeah, well, I'm not noticing any difference with the treble up and the treble down. You it actually might be a little better with the treble up. I'm going to leave both of them on. You might want to just check your settings and uh, write them down. Oh, no, you... So it's uh, counterclockwise I'm spinning it. Okay. There you go. Now we got something. I like this. This is what I call the Rodin Coil Rodeo. Yeah. So it's not fast enough, or it doesn't have enough juice to actually synchronize, though, which is unfortunate. But uh, if I hook it up to the power supply, I might be able to get enough juice into this thing to fully synchronize with this and finally get it, you know, um, to entangle, you know, so I can take it outside the sphere. Hmm. I mean, you you take this thing, if it's spinning, you take it outside the sphere, and you feel it. Like, I feel it right here. Yeah. You know. It's jiggling slightly. I go closer to this thing and it's, uh, but I can still feel it like right here. I still feel it. 
Hey, does the uh, the metal ball do the same thing in there, or is it just the neodymium that does it? Uh, I I don't think this uh, ball bearing will do anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have any effect. So it's not high enough. Okay. Yeah. But if we put a little tiny magnet in there, it'll dance. It'll dance for us. Do a little jiggy wiggy. Oh, change the camera so we can see straight down on it. It might actually flip out of this glass. <laughs> What's well, cool is the way it's changing angles on you. Yeah. Oh, oh, did it flip out? Yeah, it flipped out. Oh. It's actually inside the tour right now. You see it? On the bottom. And uh, just a, a little tip for everybody. I like to put like a little, uh, you know, uh, pan cozy on the bottom of whatever I'm putting the rodent coil on, just so it gives it a little uh, protection and comfort so you don't scratch anything. Well, there you go. It's flipping in your hand. Hold on. Hold, hold it on your finger, Ben. And just go next to the coil and see what it does. Oh. Oh. It just jumps a little, huh? Yeah. See nice. Oh. It's like you, you ever uh, feel those little tiny fish? They group yeah. around you. That's what that feels like. Nice. Little, little tiny vibrations. You know, it doesn't like to jump without that cup. Right? It seems like the cup is an amplification, right? Yeah. Look at that. Huh. Maybe that glass has something to it. You know, that's what I'm thinking. You know, I didn't know at first, honestly. But this, honestly, this is more just more evidence that make me think maybe glass is an actual amplifier of this aether energy. Or uh, concentrates it or something. You know, whatever, it, it, it interacts with it in some way. It might be resonating the frequency inside of it. Yeah, that too. It could create a cavity. I mean, it is a cavity, but yeah. Any number of things. I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine, I guess, at this point. We really don't know. Yeah, he says try it in the plastic cup with the same magnet. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's see. That's a good that's a good one uh, as a control. Oh, it just flipped out. I got plenty of these little things. There's another one. All right, let's try it in the plastic cup. <laughs> that's unlike the plastic cup. It flips around a little bit. But it's like it's, it's not as powerful. It doesn't. I don't know. Is this is that what it seems like? Might be the angle. Yeah, it could be the angle too, because of this this handle. I'm not like I'm. I'm shaking it to, to get it to do this. You know. I got a little tiny uh, here. I got a little tiny shot glass. Let's try this bad boy. There you go. All right? Yeah. <laughs> wow! Right, Look at it go! Huh. Look at it go! I don't have to wiggle it or nothing. Dude, Nathan, this might be something. This might huh. be something. Oh, it just... Because it got too low in the, the coil or the wrong angle. I don't know. Uh, it just... It seems like it's more powerful, though. Oh, that's cool. Well, I guess there's a reason why we see, uh, you know, like Jack Scholes and uh, Daniel Nunez do those uh, experiments with synchronicity with glass. I'm always, I always see them holding the glass. Uh, not, no other kind of uh, container. Well, that's cool. Yeah, if you guys ever do this um, experiment with the neodymium sphere, please, please, please wear safety glasses and at least uh, thick gloves um, because when you start spinning really fast, like mine isn't spinning really fast right now, um, but if it was spinning really fast, I'd put on my thick gloves just because sometimes these, these glass containers can chip.
Hey, it's Ben. Still going, Nathan. Do you know what the glass is made of that you're using? Mm. Oh, I got a tag on the bottom. It's all from the same. I think it's all from the dollar store. Uh, it doesn't say unless I'm not seeing it on the tag. Hmm. Well, usually when they're crystal, they say it. Otherwise, it's just normal standing glass. Oh, yeah. No, it's not crystal. I'm sure crystal might be better, honestly. But crystal is expensive, and I doubt they'll have that at the dollar store. I think these are dollar store items. Well, you never know what the dollar store gets. It's just that's overstocked true. goods. That No, that's true, too. I didn't consider that. But, uh, you know, either way, it's it's having it looks like it's having a, a greater effect on it than the plastic. Um, hmm. it, oh, here's another... This is the top of my screwdriver thing. I can. This is a little bit smaller of a plastic container. Just saw that. I'm like, let's do that. Yes, <laughs> not doing nothing. <laughs> Got nothing. Nothing. Look at it. It doesn't like it, Nathan. It doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it likes. It likes the glass. <laughs> there you go. Well, now you discovered something. That's awesome. That is cool. Um, I, I love working with these coils. You, you. Find this is called coils. real science happening live. <laughs> yeah, this is. Now, neat. now put your big ball in the in the. <laughs> can you say it? In in the little glass cup. <laughs> I put the big ball in the little cup. <laughs> Get them old man balls in there. Oh, oh. Hey, that's what we needed Mike for. Mike's got the old man spinning ball. Yeah. It's doing a little dance. I, I don't think it... Let me put it down on something because I don't think it's high enough. Like, it needs to be inside the tour, not on the bottom. Okay. Is it is. Let me grab... Ooh, this will work. Ugh. This will be perfect. Look at that. The tape roll comes in to save the day again. Oh, steady. There we go. Mm, if if the, the platform, if the tape was like not wiggling. Like if it was steady like this. See, I'm holding it and it's like it's going back and forth more. But as soon as I let go and give it that that freedom to move around more, huh. it needs to have something real steady to hold it. Come on, baby, dance for me. That's right, don't be shy. He's doing a little jiggy wiggy. And this is all using the Schumann Residence 7.83. I believe the Schumann Residence, though, is a range. Doesn't it fluctuate? You're going to know better than I do right now, Ben. Crypto might know. You say Schumann, are you saying shaman or are you saying Schumann? Schumann. The person. Yeah. The the Schumann cavity is the um cavity, the magnetic field around the earth. So I Not I true. use seven yeah, I, I use seven point eight three, but I think it's a range that fluctuates between a, a small area around there. So I mean maybe switching it depending on the time of the year, perhaps. Hmm. I'm gonna try switching it though to Let's lower it to 7.8. Mm. 
don't know, maybe a little stronger. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely stronger. Interesting. Look at that. That was really going for a minute. Let's try decreasing it slightly again. Hmm. I wish I could remember that range. It's like seven point. Uh, I can't see the chat, so uh, if you see anybody in the chat who knows the range, let me know, Nathan. Okay. Thank you, sir. And here it is right here. Uh, shooting can be 738 to 7 or 3 2 point. God, I can talk. <laughs> Probably said 7.38 to 3.11, but has to be, has been seen to go up to 36 hertz. There you go. All right, couldn't get huh. that out. So it goes all the way down to 7.38, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's kick it down to the bottom and work our way up. That's a good start. All right. Mm, doesn't seem to be in that range where it was spinning real, real nice. That was 7.83, or 7.8, we, we had it spinning. Let's go up to 7.5. Mm, started to spin a little bit. Okay. Let's go up to eight. Let's go to eight. Mm, we might have topped off at eight. <clears throat> Put it in the bigger cup. Yeah, let's try a bigger cup. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Archuki. We're going to do that. So we're at eight. Let's go back down to seven point eight. We saw it kind of go a little bit faster. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. There you go. You just needed your balls cup crop properly. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Oh my god. But he's right. He's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. It's still going. Oh, I love it. Nice. Come on. Spin the day. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> oh, wow. I love these coins. They're so fun. I can't wait till you build yours and you, you got so much cool equipment that you're going to probably, dude, you're going to blow a whole bunch of stuff up with these. <laughs> it's going to be so great. <laughs> oh man. But too much fun playing with this stuff. You should see if we can get a spark gap at the end of one of the, uh, the rodent coils outputs. I'm, Maybe. I'm sure there's a way, right? Oh, there's always a way. <laughs> Where there's a Nathan, there's a way. <laughs> Is oh, it still cool. spinning, Ben? It's still spinning. Nice. And we, uh, again, we have both channels hooked up here. I'm going to move the camera to get a closer look. Just normal stereo setup. Channel A, channel B. And then those are hooked up to the stereo output. Channel H. Oh, oh, I like walked over it and it kind of maybe I interfered with the field. Who knows? That's weird. Okay, so it just kicked off, but all we got to do is that. Give it a little spin. You're just sensitive, Ben. 
<clears throat> it's sensitive. <laughs> it's like my feelings. Sensitive. <laughs> Oh, it's so oh, sensitive, <laughs> dude. Crypto, this is cool. I can't believe it's actually spinning real nice at a low, low power. Soon, soon you're gonna have her just floating there, spinning. That's what I'm hoping for. If I hook it up to this little um, power supply and I do it correctly, um, honestly, it's not, it, the hard part is, is tuning it for frequency, uh, over unity production, but the, to do this, the magnetic synchronicity, I don't think it's going to be that hard. Cause it's just, you know, you find that a perfect resonance, which is, it appears to be, you know, the Schumann resonance and we just apply more power. That's all. Yeah, Ben, make sure you're careful how you cup your balls. Make sure they're <laughs> in the correct cup. <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> so we're, we got regular glass that's doing great with this. We'll have to get some crystal at some point and see what they got for that. That'd be cool, too. Yeah. Yeah, crystal, I think, uh, I mean... Uh, hopefully, we'll have uh, a, an even stronger amplification effect. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh, did not change. Changing it back to 7.3. It was at 7.8 hertz. Changing it back to 7.83. I think that's going to be our sweet spot, to be honest. It's always been my go-to number for any of these uh, tests. Well, it sounds like you're getting more success out of it. Yeah, I think 7.83 is going to be our sweet spot here. <laughs> 